So last part, part D. We're asked in part D, what is the greatest distance between the particle and the origin? And we're asked the following, show our work. So what do we notice? One, we notice that we have a closed interval, and that's important. The next thing that we notice is that we want to find the greatest. The greatest means the absolute max or absolute min. So we have to review how do we find an absolute max or an absolute so min, so absolute max or min occurs either at a critical point, critical number, What are we interested in? We're interested in three things. PM points are 0 and 3. We're interested in x of 0. We're interested in x of 3. And the critical number is 2.507. To be quite honest, I really don't care about 0 and 3. How come? Well, let's see what is happening here. The velocity changes from negative to positive only once. Based on this, we will get an absolute min at 2.507. So the greatest distance should happen at that time. But since we are getting ready for the exam, we're going to review everything. So we're going to also find x of 2.507. So x of 2.507. So our goal right now position function at 0, 3, and 2.507. How do you do something like that? What we have to do is remember that the antiderivative from a to b of v of t dt is equal to x of b minus x of a. And I don't, really, uh, I don't know whether you remember or not, but one of the given information we are told that x of 0 is equal to 1. So you already know x of 0. So the only thing we need to do is find x of 3 and find x of 2.507. Let's use this information. The integral from 0 to 3 of v of t dt is equal to x of 3 minus x of 0. So x of 0, I'm going to add x of 0 to both sides, plus the integral from 0 to 3 of v of t dt is going to be equal to x of 3. And similarly, I do apologize for skipping steps. You have to use your head x of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 2.507 v of t dt is equal to x of 2.507. We're going to use our calculator. We will remember that x of 0 is 1. So let's do this. I've prepared everything. Turn the calculator on, clear all of this, go second matrix, I'm sorry, not second matrix, uh, not even second, math, F-N-I-N-T, oh boy, I did prepare everything, but I had nothing better to do than erase it, so this is the opposite of x plus 1, this is what your V of t is equal to, times sine of x squared divided by 2, close parentheses, which I did, comma, 0, comma, 3, close parentheses, and then don't forget 
to add one to all of this. So second insert one plus. The one represents the position at time t equals zero. So enter. I forgot to enter the x. No problem. So x comma zero comma three. There we go. So at time t equals three, our position is negative one point nine seven, and now we go second entry, same integral. The only thing that we're going to change is two point five zero seven. Close the parentheses. And I get negative 2.26. So I'm going to take my calculator with me. I have a x sub 3 is equal to negative 1.197. And x sub 2.507 is equal to negative 2.265. What is the greatest distance between the particle and the origin? The greatest distance is 2 point. So the greatest, greatest distance from particle to origin. units to the left of the origin. We show our work, we explain everything. We are done with part 2.5.